NXP introduces the FM Plus development kit, replacing an earlier version with as many new features and improved performance. This kit is also modular, allowing various daughter cards to be added together and creating both simple demos or training tutorials, or expansion for experiment with latest devices from NXP existing and future product portfolio of I2C products. The FM Plus development kit is used with an ordinary personal computer which provides electrical power and control while running a simple graphic user interface or GUI. For larger projects, the FM Plus development kit can be powered by a user-supplied power adapter. The hardware provided by the basic kit includes a development board featuring dual I2C buses. Each bus has its own bus master and provision for two daughter cards to be added. The two buses can be configured to operate separately or join to form a single bus or bridge using optional daughter cards containing I2C bus buffer components. These I2C buses can operate at any data rate covering the original 100 kilobit specification through the newly released fast mode plus rate of 1 megabit per second. All devices on the development board operate up to the FM plus data rate and both buses have user selectable bus termination resistors. On the FM Plus development board, there are three FM Plus slave devices, an 8-channel general purpose input-output device, a 16-channel LED dimmer blinker, and an 8-bit analog to digital and digital to analog converter. The LED dimmer blinker and the general purpose input-output device are on the same I2C bus along with the LPC 1343 ARM Cortex-M3 based microcontroller. This MCU also provides the USB connection between the FM Plus development board and the user's computer. The other I2C bus has a dedicated bus master device, which in turn is connected to the add-on LPC Expresso module, supplied in the FM Plus development kit. The LPC Expresso module is a very popular NXP evaluation tool in its own right, and is built around an LPC 1343 device. This MCU is the same type used on the FM Plus development board and the LPC Expresso module includes an LPC link for user programming of this LPC Expresso module and the I2C bus combination. Additional contents of the FM Plus development kit include two daughter cards, one with a thermal sensor and the other with a 16-bit general purpose I.O. Also, a pair of GPIO target boards, each with eight channels of push switches and LED indicators. Used with the supplied ribbon cables, the GPIO boards provide visual operation of both the 8-bit and 16-bit general purpose I.O. slaves in the FM Plus development kit. The FM Plus development board also includes a scratch pad area for additional parts to be added and it is readily connected to the development board signals and power supply. All important signals are made available through test points, which can be interconnected through supplied jumper wires. A simple logic state indicator with two channels is provided for visual confirmation of signals on the development board or user-constructed hardware. This is the NXP FM Plus development board support software which I'm running today on a laptop computer. This is the welcome screen and before we go much further I want to check that we have the right version installed because there are several in circulation. So by going to help we can find out which version of the software is running and this is the correct one for today's work. Today we're going to look at a device that's already on the I2C FM Plus development board called a general purpose I.O. or GPIO. The device is a PCA 9672. We have a page in the GUI that will allow us to talk to that device directly and I'm just going to go ahead and select that. This is the hardware section of the FM Plus development board kit. I've configured the board for our next demonstration which uses a GPIO or general purpose input output device. The device itself is here on the board in the general sense it's connected by a cable to another board that has buttons and LEDs and the entire system is connected to the computer through a USB cable that provides signaling and power for the board. The outputs of the GPIO are connected to the GPIO target board, which has buttons and LEDs. 
The LEDs are two color. In this case, the red indicates that the output is a logic zero, and the non-working LED indicates that the output is high. This is a typical screen from the Graphic User Interface, or GUI. This particular page is dedicated to the device that we're going to look at, the PCA9672. The device has a unique address, which is set here. It has some buttons that we can use to write data to the device, and it has some indicators here that read data back again. It also has a box where we can read the ID address from the device, and this is typical only of the FM Plus devices. Down here we have a message that tells us the hardware is correctly connected, both the power supplies are turned on, and that our I2C bus is operating at 100 kilohertz. The first thing we're going to do is make sure we're talking to the right address, and we have several choices from a drop-down box. For the hardware we're using today, the address is 054, so I have selected that address. The next thing we're going to do is test read the part to make sure that we can identify it which I've now done, and it's filled in with some data indicating that the part is correct and is talking back and forwards to the computer. So on the left-hand side of the screen, we have a box that allows us to write data through the GPIO to the target board, which has LED indicators. Currently, none of the lights are turned on. However, if we change the data, either by directly typing into the box and then writing it out to the device, or by going in and selecting one at a time these individual points, the data will be sent to the device and it will show up as a pattern on the LEDs. Towards the center of the screen we have a box that allows us to read data back from the hardware. In this case we have a number of boxes and a data box that would indicate which of the switches have been pressed. So if I press a couple of switches and then hit the read button it will change the data to reflect which switches have been pressed. This is shown numerically here and also graphically by the number of buttons that are pushed here. This concludes the 8-bit GPIO demonstration using the PCA9672 device that is already installed on the FM Plus development kit board. All of these tools provide a very versatile development board readily used for use as a demonstration tool, teaching aid, or more serious engineering evaluation of NXP's family of I2C products. Next session we will look at a more complex GPIO device one that has 16 bits and push-pull outputs. For more information or request your own FM Plus development kit, please visit us on the web at nxp.com interface.